Hi, everybody. It's that time. Once again, Heard for the Holidays. I'm Colin Cowherd. This is my co-host, Joy Taylor. And for the next hour, we look back at the year that was 2020 and the year ahead as well. And Joy, I think it's safe to say, from me growing a beard to the <laughs> pandemic, it was a year like we've never seen before in sports. It was, it was very unique, but... A lot of uh, fun and interesting changes have come from 2020, so. Let's give people our top 10 stories, good and bad, fraught with um, all different emotions of 2020. All right, let's start with number 10. Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes signs a record-breaking contract extension to stay with the Chiefs for the next decade. To many, he is our generation's John Elway simply more talented than everybody else. He signed a $503 million contract. For most of my life, the highest paid players in sports have been NBA stars or baseball players. This was the first time that a National Football League player was the highest paid athlete in America, $45 million a year, and it's really, Joy, the perfect spot. From coach to offensive stars, it, it does have sort of a um, a long runway feel to it. Like, like Brady may have shocked us when he arrived. He was drafted late. It was mostly about Belichick and defense. But he's the star of the show in Kansas City for a decade or more. Yeah, and he's so good, no one even complained about it. Nobody <laughs> did. Just give him all the money. In fact, he's kind of set the market. It's understood going forward, he will be the barometer of what you should pay a top quarterback. Absolutely. All right, number nine, Giannis Antetokounmpo won his second straight MVP in the NBA. Now, he's not had the postseason success of other stars like Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, or LeBron James. From Greece, though, he is perceived to be the NBA's best defensive player, the toughest big to defend, and the third player in league history to win the MVP and Defensive Player of the Year in the same season, He's in good company with Michael Jordan and Akeem Olajuwon. And it should be noted, recently he signed the Supermax with Milwaukee, guaranteeing he will stay in Milwaukee for the foreseeable future. Yep, five more years with the MVP. Number eight, Joe Burrow leads the LSU Tigers to a perfect season and a national championship over Clemson before being the number one pick in the NFL draft. What was remarkable about this story was he wasn't a five-star recruit. He starts at Ohio State. He has to transfer to LSU, has an average first year at LSU, and then he exploded on the scene with what I think it's fair to say now, Joy, despite Alabama having the dynasty of the decade, this is probably the best college football team at 15-0 we've ever seen. They dominated a talent-rich Clemson team. He had six touchdowns and no interceptions in the championship game. He went on to set the record for the best passer efficiency rating in the history of the sport. Later drafted number one by the Bengals, an incredibly likable kid who had a little bit of a bumpy journey, but almost everybody is rooting for him now. So fun to watch. I'm looking forward to the rest of his career. So number seven, the first overall pick in the 2019 NBA draft finally makes his debut, and Zion Williamson does not disappoint. Uh, a magnetic personality and basketball game. He debuted his rookie season. Remember, one year of college at Duke, which again had the exploding shoe. <laughs> but what you found at Duke, the smile, the game, the tenacity, the love, the magnetism, he scored 17 points in the fourth quarter of his NBA debut. And I, I honestly believe that it's the most fascinating debut since LeBron James for the Cavs, his first game in Sacramento. He played one summer league game and <laughs> broke the NBA summer league TV rating. There's just... The only concern is his health because he plays with such an explosion and his size. But he's really, to me, he may be the third or fourth biggest star in the league already. Just a natural star. So number six, Cam Newton ends his time in Carolina and teams up with Bill Belichick in New England. To me, 
perhaps the most surprising story of the year, certainly in terms of free agency. Before this happened, it was seen as he was sort of an independent personality, loved his fashion. New England was this rigid, sort of um, dogmatic, stiff system, and Cam wouldn't be a fit. But then one Monday morning, we got news that Cam was now a New England Patriot. It has been inconsistent. There have been great Sundays and really bad Sundays. With no preseason, he had virtually two weeks, three weeks to prepare for the season. But I will say this. It's actually the personality part of it has been surprisingly smooth. Belichick has embraced him. And actually, Cam has embraced this rigid system. Not only was the signing a surprise, but the relationship has had to have surprised even you. Well, opposites attract. That's what they say. It's been super fun to watch. We don't know if opposites last, (laughs) but they certainly attract. All right, coming up next, time for a break. We come back. What was bigger, LeBron's championship, Patrick Mahomes, or could Tom Brady going to the Bucs be our biggest highlight of the year? Heard for the holidays. More when we return. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.